Hey everybody, thank you for checking out View Golf. I'm Trent Roman here, and today we're coming at you with another drill you can do at home. All you're gonna need is regular old garden variety spatula. And we're gonna talk about a little how much your wrist angles have to do with how solid you hit it, how far you hit it, and I've got the use of our TrackMan technology behind me. We're gonna talk a little bit about how your wrist angles can affect spin loft. You won't have to use a TrackMan, but I will demonstrate the differences in wrist angles with spin loft, dynamic loft, what those are exactly, and how they affect when you change those with your use of wrist angles and how those affect your launch angle, your spin rate, and your carry. And it's really cool when you use, uh, I'll, I'll use a sand wedge to kind of demonstrate those, but it applies all the way through the bag. Um, and uh, I'll just demonstrate it and you'll think, it, I think it's pretty cool. So uh, let's do this. Okay, impact position. I've got this spatula, and I'm gonna help you hopefully better understand what the proper impact position is, and then we'll explain and I'll demonstrate how that changes those numbers on TrackMan behind me, okay? So I see a lot of people with that struggle with inconsistent contact, and I can demonstrate, give you kind of a visual here with this spatula. So. A lot, if your impact looks like this, okay, and your lead wrist for a right-handed golfer, that lead wrist, wrist is gonna be your left wrist, okay? That lead wrist looks a lot like this, okay? It's kind of cup or flexed back this direction, okay? Um, or extended, I guess, back this direction, excuse me. That spatula will look like this, okay? And that's what your lead wrist looks like. That's a characteristic of players that struggle with consistent contact. If you're losing distance, the ball kind of floats in the air, you can hit them fat, you can hit them thin, okay? Your lead wrist probably looks a lot like this uh, spatula facing this direction. Now, Better players, if you flip it the other direction, their, uh, their lead wrist will look a lot like that. It's, it's kind of bowed backward or, um, or flexed, okay? And they will add some body turn and their hands will lead the club. Michael Breed said something on, uh, on his um, social media post he said when he tries to feel that position, okay, or he's trying to get a student into that position, he will feel like his arms are fast, okay, and the club is slow, okay? So that's what you're trying to do, is trying to get into that position of this spatula where the hands are ahead of the club, okay? So kind of a tool at home to, to give you a visual, to give you a feeling of what your um, supposed to look like. Now, I've got the, the value, I've got the ability to use TrackMan and really see how that affects some simple numbers across the board. Now, I've got launch angle, I've got spin rate, not as important when you get into the longer clubs. Um, I guess probably, I might even take that back. I, actually, when you get into the driver, um, that forward shaft lean, that lead wrist, really, really can lower that spin rate. Uh, carry, I've got spin loft. Spin loft is the difference of your angle of attack 
and the dynamic loft that you're applying to the golf ball. So it's kind of a 3D model. That's spin loft. Not necessarily so important to understand it for you right now, but I want to show you how as it changes, how I impact into the ball affects these numbers and the carry number. And then again, your dynamic loft is the loft that you're applying to the golf club. Now, what I've got is a 56 degree wedge. Now, if I show you, I'm going to hit a shot where I try to kind of uh, cup my left wrist or extend my left wrist that direction. And, and I'm gonna hit this 56 degree wedge. Okay? So, not bad, I didn't achieve it all that well. But if you look at, I applied 50.8 degrees spin loft, 48.5 degree dynamic loft. The ball carried 90 yards, um, had a 36 degree launch angle, and had 9,000 spin. Now, I'm going to try to give it this or this, okay? Lead with my left, lead with my hands, lead with my bowed left wrist into the shot and see what that does to my numbers above. And I shanked it. Don't look at those numbers. Ah, oh, of course. Okay, you're not supposed to shank it. Let's try this again. Okay, all right. There we go. So we went didn't quite pick up spin loft. We went from a 40, back to the original. We went from a 48 degree dynamic loft to a 44.9 degree dynamic loft. The carry went up to 103 yard, yards. Launch angle went down to 32.5 from 36.6. And spin went from 9,023 up to 10,190. So that's kind of the cool part. If you're looking to play those high spinning wedges, okay, they're gonna be flighted a little bit lower, okay? Less dynamic loft, lower launch angle, okay? More spin, okay? And you're looking for that impact position, okay, that spatula, that's bent backwards, and uh, you're gonna be a lot more consistent with your uh, contact. I think you're gonna hit the golf ball a lot further. So I hope you enjoyed it. Grab that spatula from your kitchen, head out into the backyard, okay? Head into the garage, okay? Try to look like this at impact, not like this. Add a little bit of that body turn on track man lower that dynamic loft increase all those numbers hit it farther hit it more solid i hope you enjoyed the video if you did click like i apologize for the shank um, we're live okay and uh if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button below thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time